Hi there, this is Brian Collins from Become a Writer Today. And are you interested in fixing grammar mistakes in your writing? Or perhaps you've heard about online grammar checkers and proofreading tools that you can use. Well, I road tested three of the most popular online grammar checkers. These are Grammarly, White Smoke, and Ginger Software. And in this video review, I'm going to stack these grammar checkers up side by side. And I'm also going to compare them to words grammar checker so you can see which is best for fixing issues in your writing. So for the purposes of this test, I wrote a 700 word nonfiction article and I put some grammar and spelling mistakes into the article and I wrote it in Word. And don't get me wrong, the grammar checker on Word is okay. You know, it, it has identified some issues with my writing. So for example, there's grammar mistakes here. I'm missing some full stops and so on. And it's also caught a spelling mistake. However, Word has also missed some issues. So here is an example. Today, Ono known as father of. In other words, Word hasn't identified that there is a missing word within this sentence. So let's take this article and put it into Grammarly and see if Grammarly can find and fix this embarrassing grammar mistake. So I have opened the Grammarly desktop app for Mac and I'm gonna paste my article into Grammarly and it will take a few seconds to scan through the document. And what it will do is much like Word, it will highlight or underline the sentences where there are issues. So if I click mission, you can see here it's suggesting that I should change it to this. And obviously it's up to you to decide whether you want to do this or not. But let's see, has it caught the missing word that word missed? Today, Ono known as father of. Yes, it has. And if I highlight or hover over known, it'll give me some context in the sidebar. So you can see here that Grammarly will help me find embarrassing mistakes in my work. The other thing I like about Grammarly Premium is it gives me lots of insights in a sidebar. In other words, reasons behind my mistakes. And if I click on insights here, I can find out how long my character count of my document is and I can find out the readability score. And this is useful if I want to simplify my writing and become a better self editor. And you, I can also go through each one of these menu items to look for particular mistakes in my work. And you can even send your work to a human proofreader if you're particularly concerned about your writing. What I would say to you is the premium version of Grammarly will find and fix more mistakes than the free version. And it would also give you deeper insights into what's wrong with your writing or what you need to fix. So next, let's see if White Smoke can catch the grammar mistakes that were missed and which Grammarly identified. And I've got open on screen White Smoke for Mac. Uh, of course, White Smoke is also available in your web browser and for Windows. So I'm gonna paste the article into White Smoke. You can see here White Smoke will bring over the formatting, which is useful if I want to write directly in White Smoke. Unlike Grammarly, I need to click check text to search the document for issues. So let's click check text. Uh, when you do this, it takes out some of the formatting, but let's see if it caught that mistake. And you can see here it did, it said it's an incomplete sentence. So that's great. I'm gonna click on today. I can get an explanation of why this is an incomplete sentence and I can fix it directly in White Smoke by typing. You can also see there's a spelling mistake above the incomplete sentence. And if I want to accept White Smoke suggestion, all I have to do is click. When I'm done fixing all the mistakes in the document, all I have to do is copy the document into wherever else I'm going to use it, or I can click the apply changes button and this will happen. White Smoke will open up a blank text document and paste it in with all of the changes directly made for me. So this is just another way of exporting directly from White Smoke. So let's see if Ginger Software can find the same issues that Word missed and which Grammarly found. And for this test, I'm using the web app for Chrome. Uh, I'm gonna paste the article which I've saved to my clipboard into Ginger Software and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's brought in all the formatting, which is really useful for self editing. You can see here, it takes a few seconds to scan through the document. My first thought is it's, it's a few seconds slower than Grammarly, but it seems to be catching almost everything, but has it caught the sentence in question? So when I scroll down, I can see here that yes, it's identified there is a missing word. It's proposed a suggestion, which I'm going to accept by clicking on the correct button. So you can see here, I could work my way through the document and fix all of these issues. However, it's actually missed a spelling mistake here in the headline. And I think this may be something to do with the formatting. So let's type that out and see, does, does it still find an issue? 
how to use the five whys x. And when I do this, yes, it, it catches the spelling mistake. So, so there, there must be some small issue with having mistakes in your headlines. So that this is a good indication that while these tools are all really useful, you should still print out your articles or your work and check them for mistakes. And for longer pieces of writing, you should always work with a human proofreader. But that said, they do serve as another line of defense. And I particularly like Ginger software because it also has an ability to translate articles into different languages. So when I paste it in here, it will detect the language as English. And then I can pick from over 60 different languages, uh, including Irish. So I'm from Ireland, so I'm gonna pick Irish and let's see what happens. And yes, this, this looks very much like Irish or Gaelge, although I probably need to go through and fix this to make sure the translation is correct. So for example, I can see here some ampersands and numbers. But this could be a useful way of perhaps writing something in your native language and then converting it to English. In other words, going in the opposite direction. The other feature that I like about Ginger software is it has a dictionary built into it, which is useful if you're a writer and you're looking for new words and you should always look for new words. So let's type in something here. And yes, you can see here, I can get definitions of words in question. And if I've overused a word like make, which is a commonly overused word by writers, you can see here, there's lots of different cinnamons I can pick from. So my takeaway from Ginger software is it's got lots of little interesting features, but you just need to be careful with your headings if you're going to use it. So I have on screen the pricing for Grammarly at the time of recording this video, and you can see you can pay for a, a monthly, quarterly, or annual subscription. Uh, the monthly subscription is $29 per month, whereas the annual subscription is just under $12 if you pay all up front. So obviously you can save a lot of money by paying all up front. Or alternatively, you could take out the quarterly subscription and balance affordability with perhaps taking a chunk out of your bank balance. Uh, Ginger Software at the time recording this video, we're running a promotion where they offer 30% off. And I know Grammarly sometimes offers these promotions and you can see here, uh, it's approximately $10 cheaper for, for the monthly subscription. And if I go over to White Smoke, you can see it's significantly cheaper than the other two proofreading tools. Uh, if you pay for a yearly subscription, it's just $6.59 all up front. Or if you pay for a three year subscription, you can just pay for $4.44 for three years of access to White Smoke. That said, Grammarly and Ginger both offer free versions of their tools that you can road test by installing into Chrome or by downloading. And the free versions are relatively powerful. They just don't find as many grammar issues. And you can see here, Grammarly has on screen the difference between the two. So the premium version has some advanced checks for punctuation and grammar, which I can vouch for because I know the pre premium version of Grammarly often finds issues with my comma placements and it has some additional vocabulary suggestions. And you also get access to the plagiarism detector. Uh, Ginger Software Premium is somewhat similar in that you get access to a sentence rephraser, which will he help you self edit your writing. And it will also give you some more analysis of your errors. In other words, more insights. And that's something I talk about in my detailed review uh, which you can find a link to below this video. So I hope you can see that each of the three grammar checkers that I featured in this video are more powerful than what Word can do. White Smoke is perhaps the most affordable of the three and it's great for new writers on a budget. Ginger has lots of fancy and additional features which are useful, particularly if English is not your native language. And Grammarly is actually the grammar checker tool that I use most frequently because I signed up in 2015. But that's as much down to a personal preference as it is to Grammarly doing anything that the other tools can't do. What I would actually encourage you to do is to try each of the three tools and then see which one fits best with the way you like to write and the way you like to work. If you've got questions about this comparison, just ask me below the video. Thanks for watching.